I was uh, born in Amritsar and you know Amritsar is a very small town it's a beautiful beautiful place and uh, um uh, we shifted to Delhi when I was I think 13 years old so it's been more than 10 years that uh, I'm in Gurgaon Delhi now and uh, I feel that uh, you know uh, personally during my childhood when you know you were brought up in a small town you have more value for things like uh, relationships things like respect things like uh, things which are slightly more intangible right things like love passion when you move to a bigger town and at least that happened in my case you start focusing on things which are more tangible like output profit money uh so you know like as as someone who's been sort of spend her childhood in amritsar i had that keen interest in details and i would look at everything with very very much detail and i think that has sort of translated well uh you know in akrewali that we try to keep everything which is very detailed and also the sort of uh, difference between a small town and a big town uh you know the uh, the uh, value system which is very different so sort of i think we've tried to put that in the brand and the aesthetics of the brand so uh, my name is prasiv devani i'm 24 years old and uh, yeah i'm the co-founder of nakrewali I uh, graduated from Eastern Mary College Delhi University a couple of years back after that I went to London College of Fashion to study fashion for a while I am not a designer by qualification I came back I started doing a regular corporate job started working as a HR consultant uh, with one of the US based uh, consultancies and uh, you know I had a keen um, um, uh, interest in fashion and music I'm a musician and I've been a musician since I was 4 years old Uh, I sing uh, and uh, I play the piano and a couple of other instruments as well. So you know, I always had those creative streaks in me, and I would uh, you know, uh, beside college, alongside college, I would go for some fashion events, cover some fashion weeks, assist some people on shoots, and uh, yeah. So I wanted to sort of start my own thing, but uh, never thought I'd be able to do it so soon. One and a half years uh, into the corporate job. Uh, I figured that you know I had gone every time I'd go for fashion weeks I'd say I'd see people you know appreciating what I'm wearing and I'd always uh, wear something DIY I'd make something on my own which is quirky which is fun which is very different and I'd make it out of like a bed sheet like some waste products that I kept at home so people always appreciated that at fashion weeks I got I used to get covered at places and uh, you know they would ask me okay, where did you get this from where did you get this from where did you buy it from and I'm like oh I actually made it at home in like a couple of hours so yeah I thought why not start something uh, which you know can uh, be an extension to what I do for myself and uh, reveal that to the world and you know also make it available for people to buy so that's how I started with Akrawali and here I am today So like I said uh, I am not a jewelry designer or for that matter a designer by qualification I think uh, I've learned uh, design and fashion on the job right I think a uh, fashion is more about how you feel what your aesthetics are about how you feel naturally how you observe things around you right so uh, that's where my journey began I'm not a jewelry designer why and when I chose to start with Nakhrewali I had I, I think I mentioned is that I was doing a regular marketing uh, corporate job and uh, uh, I had a keen interest of doing something of my own and uh, I never particularly wanted to get into jewelry designing per se but why Nakhrewali happened is because Nakhrewali is a means to communicate something a vision that is in my head and the products that we make is only a means to do that right so uh, what the vision of the uh, brand is that each one of us has uh, you know different uh, sides to us each one of us carries a lot of masks as we go out into the world right masks of society masks of ourselves pressures of our parents pressures of our peers pressure of the competition of the generation that we are in you know so i feel that you know we uh, as we grow up we develop a lot of masks around us and We also have a lot of different sides of us, a lot of different nakras of us. So the word nakra is actually not supposed to be taken in a negative connotation, but uh, uh, you know it it denotes different sides of any woman or or man, you know anyone. And uh, nakre wali is a means to communicate that we can wear the same statement 
pieces, you know, same set of earrings, say with uh, a denim dress, and uh, feel uh, very feminine and feel very shy about oneself. We can wear the same statement pieces, say with a very sexy sari, and feel very dignified, very uh, stylish about oneself. We can wear the same set of earrings or same set of accessories, say with a pair of hot pants, a bra and a coat and feel very aggressive, very masculine about ourselves. So it's a means to communicate different sides which all of us have within us. For that matter, uh, you know, Nakhlewali is an, an identity of a woman who wants to show different sides of her and is, a, is proud of different sides of herself. The great thing about, uh, you know, doing anything which is online, which is on social media is that uh, it is very easy to interact directly with the exact customer, right? So, uh, and the good part in our case, or, you know, you can say the bad part or good part in our case is that we started off on social media. So how we started selling initially was through Instagram, right? So if a particular client is placing an order, they're actually interacting with us directly. So we know exactly what they're looking for. What, the, what are the apprehensions in their head while they're, you know, well, looking to buy a product from Nakhrewali. You know, the apprehensions initially used to be that, you know, is the product really heavy? What's the size of the product? Uh, will it go uh, with the outfit that I want to wear? Is it only Indian that I can wear it with? So, so on and so forth. So we could actually answer those questions directly. So when we started off, we've actually able, been able to build a very strong clientele in the sense that we could uh, advise them in exactly what to wear with what outfit so it's not only selling jewelry but it's also helping the client or someone who's a potential customer uh, style the particular outfit for the particular occasion so you know we share a very very transparent relationship with our client uh, we've happened to do a lot of customization as well for our clients because you know sometimes people want something which is of a different color because they exactly want that and you know we've gone ahead and done that you know while it's a new brand so we also want to sort of satisfy and make our clientele very very strong so yeah we, we have a very very honest and transparent relationship with our client i think uh, my personal size is very minimal i i'm a very uh, you know have one thing which is very statement in your outfit and rest of it uh, could be very very plain and very minimal so that one thing that usually is there anything that catches my eye i don't have a favorite I'm, if I have a favorite, then that, that has to be Nakhrewali, right? But uh, anything that catches my eye, uh, say for example, today I'm wearing like these uh, hoops that I picked up from a street shop in London. So, yeah. Um, Nakhrewali, um, I think uh, we, me and my friend uh, Josha, we started this brand together and we were just sitting uh, in the balcony, you know, having a few beers and talking and we were like, okay, what should be the name? And we want the name to be slightly very quirky but at the same time very deep because you know the the uh, meaning of the brand is very very deep to us so we wanted the name to be very quirky very fun at the same time have a very beautiful deep meaning inside so so we were just sitting and we we're like okay why are you doing so much nakra like why are you doing so much nakra and then we we're like okay ah nakre wali tu nakre wali so you know like that's how we just coined the name so even though nakre wali is supposed to mean that you know each one of us has different nakras and different sides and different masks that we hide on an everyday basis and this is a means to communicate that you know we need to be ourselves and we need to stop sort of uh, you know putting those masks in front of anyone we need to be true to ourselves but yeah i think the name is very very quirky and uh, and fun and that's how uh, we coined the name in fact the logo of the name is the signature of this identity called Clever. You know, when you're doing something of your own, uh, it's practically your baby. You're, you're the only one who's responsible and liable for what you're doing. So automatically, there's a very, very thin difference between work life and personal life, right? And uh, I feel that uh, I don't treat what I'm doing as part of Nakhrewali and other things also as well are not work for me. They make me happy and uh, you know, it's not like, oh, I'm going back from work and I can't, if I open my laptop at home, it's work for me. Uh, it, it's something I love to do and, uh, you know, uh, that's why there's no concept of weekends or holidays. Uh, for me, a shoot is as fun as a holiday and, uh, you know, going out for an event is as fun as going out for a party. So, I feel that uh, creating that balance, yes, sometimes you do get frustrated, you want to, like, not take calls one day, you wake up and you're like, okay, no, I'm switching off from the world. But on most days, I think it's uh, easy to sort of maintain that balance because you're doing it from your heart, so you'll, you'll love it and uh, it doesn't really feel like work.